This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Absolute pleasure to be joined by Canners or Paul Canneville, Chelsea legend. I'm a massive Chelsea fan myself. It's a big moment for me. How are you doing, Paul? Um, terrific, to be honest. Um, obviously, the reason why we're here for, and that's um, Dr. Mark Prince, OBE. Um, I've had the experience of working with him in schools and talking to the kids, the youth today, so I know the work is valuable and important and what he does. And it was great here to see that the support that came out to him for him today. Um, you've got to support foundations like this. Myself, the Paul Cannibal Foundation, is what we do as well. Um, regard to the youth, the system, what's running now, um, it's just something. We need more male mentors. That's my opinion on that. And Mark is definitely one of those like myself. So um, a great day, a great achievement. Now, like Mark, uh, you have an amazing story. Um, obviously completely different to what he's been through, but nonetheless very tragic as well, the, the things you suffered with, especially racism uh, in your football days. Just quickly share the story you went through. Uh, give us a quick insight if you can. Um, everybody lets me know because they, they remind me of what, when I started at, at Chelsea. And it was a dream for me at the age of five, really, that all I wanted to be was a professional footballer. Um, and to come in at a late stage, the age of 21, joining Chelsea, where at the time was um, second division, a third at the bottom, needed to win just to survive and stay up. Um, after four months in the reserves to get my chance into the first team, you're, you're excited. Um, I was then asked by the late John Neil, rest in peace, to make my debut, which was a substitute against Crystal Palace at Sellers Park. And the second half, the game went, it continued to be nil-nil until I got um, the call to get a warm-up and that's when it hit my um, shock and disbelief when I heard this racial abuse and I thought it was coming from the Crystal Palace fans which happened to be coming back from my own fans at Chelsea. Um, very shocked, um, this continued for three years. It was a case of me trying to win them over and it happened when we played um, Sheffield Wednesday away in a Milk Cup, the old Milk Cup. We was losing 3-0 and at halftime I came on and um, within 11 seconds scored the first 3-1. 3-2 Mickey Thomas, no, Kerry Dixon and 3-0 Mickey Thomas and I scored the fourth. Um, the game ended up 4-0 but after that um, to know that I was then being accepted by my fans, they, they started to call my name. And well, when I say call my name, sing my name. That was to let them know that I was one of them. But um, yes, I've had my troubles, don't get me wrong, coming out of the game, had to retire at the early age of 25 with a dislocated right knee. And my sp yeah, I, life went spiral, went up and down. And I've had to come up and um, believe in myself. And this is what we have to tell these kids. They've got to believe in themselves. But I've had my terror. I've had cancer, I had drug problems, I had mental health, and it's what we can do about it. I've done all this, and I'm still here today, and I want to know to show that, tell the kids and the youth, you can too. And the support like myself and Mark, what we can do, we do a great job. Um, we do need the support, we need funding, and that's the problem here today. You've got people like ourselves who are dedicated, we need the funding. If you can help, please get in touch. Well, hopefully you and Mark and others alike get all the funding that you need. You still work at Chelsea, don't you? I do. I do the hospitality on the match day at home. Um, I love the club still, no matter what. I love working in there and I love sharing with the fans. And the fans remind me every day of who I am. And it's, it's such enjoyment. You know what I mean? There we see today Harry, Harry Redknapp. Come on, man. A potential manager that was there from my entry. I call him my peers because I used to grow up watching Harry being manager of great clubs. So, you know what I mean, it's the excitement here today. Was, it's just a benefit for me. It just makes me want to push more forward now and, you know, do what I do and do what I do good. Not going great at Chelsea at the moment. Uh, what's your opinion on things in uh, Maurizio Sarri? Can't talk about it because I still <laughs> love the club. So hopefully we'll get that, the boardroom will get it right and the manager will get it right. But don't worry, um, things always happen whether little clubs or big clubs, we're here today because I still support the club and we'll get out of that. Don't worry about it. I hope so. Canners, Paul Canneville, pleasure talking to you and I uh, hope you, you and Mark and, as I said, others get all the funding that you need to uh, do the great work you're doing. Thank
Thank you, and keep listening. Thanks a lot. Cheers, Kenneth. Cheers, thanks.